Hello everyone and welcome to Car Takes with Deborah and Joel. Da, 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 I can't, da, 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 I'm already crying. Yeah. I can't process what I just experienced. And it is an experience. Yeah. Uh, this is... Um, Plum Sugar, uh, uh, The Rise written, of Lauren Anderson. Yeah. Uh, the uh, principal ballerina, the first black principal ballerina in... Uh, in, in Houston in Ballet. Houston. And then it turned out she was the uh, the first one in the major company in the world. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure you a complete have groundbreaker, heard her. Houston mm -hmm. legend. Houston uh, legend certainly. Um, this is her her the story, the rise of Lauren Anderson. Mm -hmm. But as you know, with anybody's story that they're gonna to dramatize, the, there's the pitfalls. There's the yeah. there's the lows. She went and what she, she went overcome. through a lot of, oh, of trials. Oh yeah. my! The, and that you put it out there, and Deborah D. Mouton, uh, brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Uh, yeah. She is also uh, the third Houston poet laureate That's and the right. first um, African American poet laureate. Right. Um, so brilliant, it, the brilliant. other uh, aspect of it is that you she was such a groundbreaker. Um, Lauren Anderson being the the first black principal dancer and you have all of these little girls and, and not just little girls but but children who see someone who looks, looks like, like them that. and they say oh I can be that yeah. I can be that I can do but, that but to get back to the show specifically <sighs> it's, so, it's it's a it's a brilliant mix I'm gonna cry yeah it's a brilliant mix of the story that the the actor the actor's name uh Yes, the lead uh, actor, Dequina Moore. Dequina Moore, who plays who is beyond genius, genius performance. Oh my God! Uh, but she she tells us she leads us verbally through the story, but then a great portion, I would say probably almost two Half. thirds of the show, is movement and dance, which is so from fitting. the Houston Ballet Company oh, dancers who are genius, no! just brilliant, oh brilliant, God. brilliant. So, so you get spoken word, you get these brilliant monologues and the way that Deborah Mouton writes, she writes like she's dancing because everything it's very, it very moves musical. into the, yeah, beautifully done. So she's commanding the stage while the dancers come out and mm. actually move the story along. Yeah. It doesn't just stop Well, and this is what I was telling Deborah. This is a great primer. If you've ever been, you know, like, I don't think the ballet is for me because I don't know I would understand them telling stories through movement. This is a perfect introduction because you get the story being told and then you see the way the dancers are interpreting and the story. And it's not just classical ballet. Oh, it's everything. It's modern. There, yeah, there's everything. There's a little Cuban, yeah. Afro-Cuban in there. But um, I think these days all styles of, of, yeah. of dance are considered ballet if they're presented. In some, yeah. And, you know, I was also, it's wonderful in a, in a space like stages because it's not ginormous like the Wortham Center. And oh, it's very personal. It's you very feel, personal. You feel and I, yeah. I started thinking I would love more uh, to see Houston Ballet perform in smaller spaces because when you can see the faces better and you see the connection, because dancers ha are remarkably connected when they're... When well, they're, they're, they're actors. They, yeah. It's every part of their body, their facial expressions, yeah. it's the movement and they are everything. Diff dancers are different species mm -hmm. than the rest of mm -hmm. us. I mean, what they can do is just... Uh, it's it gorgeous. He, this is playing until November 13th. I'm th Like I said, this is an event. It's a huge event. Lauren Anderson was actually there with Ben Stevenson. Ben Stevenson. That oh was, my gosh. Oh, that who made was, us cry even who, more. Ben Stevenson was her mentor. I mean, yeah. He he was basically without without him championing her, she would not have had the career she had. Yeah. And oh my gosh. So yeah, he was there and they brought him out at the end. It was so moving. It was so moving. We also have to uh Aside from Houston Ballet, it was all we also had dancers from the uh, Urban Souls Dance Company. Okay. So there, there's everything was was in there. It it's just I don't I don't even have words because no, I'm not a writer. It's 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 too um, it's difficult because it is very emotional. It's real emotional, and yeah. it, I, again, it's it's someone, and especially this this little girl who's told because of her color, because of her size, because she's yeah. not the what every buddy for the last you know couple hundred years had depicted right. dancers we, as we are pure emotion and the emotion yeah. is very high in this one yeah uh, and ebony bell oh my god ebony congratulations oh my this was god. 
<laughs> brilliantly, yeah. brilliantly directed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there wasn't a flaw. Well, there Deborah not... also, Deborah Mouton also directed it with Ebony. With her, so with her, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, but, and um, uh, the original choreography, Stanton Welch and Harrison Guy, and I believe they were with uh, Urban Souls. Yeah, you can't get better than Stanton Welch. Oh, yeah. good Lord and Butter, it was uh, transcendent. It really was. It, truly. I, I, just, just come see it. Come see it. Yeah, I, this I, is beyond yeah. anything. It's I've not never, like anything you've ever I've seen. I've never heard an ovation that, that long, long in Houston no. for anything no. ever, and it was a it, long yeah. screaming ovation. Yeah, uh, it's amazing, beautiful, yeah. um, Stages inspiring. It, it's it's everything that you oh, want it to be and more. Yeah. And yeah, and more. Thank you, Lauren Anderson. Thank, Thank you, you for Grand yeah. Jeté and the door down for Absolutely. Uh, the people that yeah. followed you because that's pretty amazing. And and for sharing your very oh, personal you. story. Thank you. Because this is going to mean so much to so yeah. many people. Yeah. Oh, there is parts in it that I could relate to. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's it's it's about it is the a artist, lesson about the person. It's a lesson for anyone who is plagued with self doubt, which is I think everybody. But it's, so it's, it's, it's just. Great. Um, like I said, you, you don't want to miss this. No, you this. don't. You don't. Yeah. So there it is. You have your marching orders. Get out to see <laughs> Plum Sugar. 100% unequivocated. No. Yeah. You need to oh, see by it. the way, the title Plum Sugar is a play on Sugar, Sugar Plum, Plum Fairy, Fairy, which was a part that she coveted yeah. very early in her time. I, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I'm going to cry again. Yeah. And I'm not a crier. And I absolutely adored this. Yeah. It's, it's something else. Yeah. I guess we're done. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's, good. Bye. Bye. <laughs>